Shalom, my name is Danison Baraka. Welcome to our daily devotion. Today I'm going to read from the book of Romans chapter 8 verse 1. The Bible says, Therefore there is no more condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus, because through Christ Jesus the law of the spirit of life has set me free from the law of sin and death. The Bible makes it very clear. The Bible says that there's no more condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. My sister, many of you are still condemned from the things that have been set in your family. There are altars in your family that are still claiming you. Because you are born in that family, you have their blood. So for you to be in the safe side, for you to have nothing to condemn you, you need to be in Christ Jesus. I'm presenting you a man today that if you trust in him, if you come to him, you will never be condemned. Limitation will be never your problem. Stagnation will be never your problem. Things that makes people cry, you will never be your problem. Jesus said, come to me who are tired and I will give you rest. Bring your burden to Jesus and he shall give you rest. Listen to me, once you're in Christ Jesus, you are a free man. Nothing that was condemning you before will condemn you again. No power of the enemy will have his authority upon you. No plan of the enemy will work in your life again. You will, not li you will live under no condemnation. You will be a free man. Remember the Bible say in 2 Corinthians chapter 5 verse 17, the Bible say, If a man is in Christ, he become a new creature, meaning if you come to Christ, you become a new person. The family lineage, the family problem, you, the family cycle, the generation curse in your family will no longer be your problem. Why? Because you are in Christ. In Christ, you find rest. In Christ, you find peace. That's why I'm inviting you believe in Jesus Christ today. Come to Jesus as the way you are. The way you are. Come to Jesus. Do not say because uh, I go to a nightclub, Jesus will not listen to me. Because I don't live a good life, Jesus will not listen to me. No. Come to Jesus the way you are and he will give you rest. Therefore, there will be nothing to condemn you. The Bible makes it clear that the Pharisee and the teacher of the law, they brought to Jesus a woman that was caught in the act of adultery. The Bible says, according to the law of Moses, this woman should have been stoned into death. But the Bible says, when they brought this woman to Jesus, Jesus was able to save her life. Jesus said to them, who among you have never seen it? Let them cast the first stone. The Bible says, all of them, they left without stoning this woman. And Jesus looked at the woman and said, where are those? Those were condemning you where those who were accusing you where those who was they wanted to kill you and the women said there is nobody left here to stone me and Jesus said go and sin no more not uh, not needed I I condemn you Jesus said no even me I'm not condemning you neither I I'm condemning you go and live your life that's why I'm trying to tell you once you are in Jesus there's no more condemnation my sister who is condemning you who is making you suffer who is behind your pain what are the reclamation of your family what are the altar of your family speaking against you you still condemned by many things but I'm telling you if you decide to give your life to Christ today you'll be a free woman you'll be a free man and nothing will condemn you again in Jesus mighty name the Bible makes it clear in 2nd Corinthians chapter 5 verse 17 that if a man is in Christ become a new creature all things has passed away behold everything has become new do you want to become new do you want everything to become new because right now you are complaining about your bill you are complaining that spiritual husband spiritual wife spiritual attack you cannot sleep well things is not working stagnation limitation do you want everything in your life to become new give your life to christ today i want to give you this opportunity to pray this prayer after me say lord jesus whatever you are say lord jesus here i am before you i come to give you my life i believe that you are the son of god that you died and God raise you from the dead from today delete my name in the book of death and write in the book of life give me the power to follow you 
Give me the power to be able to pray and to be able to meditate upon your word. Give me the power not to go back in my evil way, but give me the strength to follow you. And I believe that you are the Lord and my Savior. You are the Lord and my Savior. Uh, come into my life, dwell with me in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. My beloved, wherever you are, if you just make this prayer, you become a new creature. All things has passed away, including the things that used to condemn you are no more in your life. Welcome in the kingdom of God. Have a blessing day. God bless you.